The difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack in will. Vince Lombardi, my friends, your willpower needs to be 10 to 15 minutes each and every day following these charts, learning what there is to learn, understanding, practice trading, and being a winner. Let's jump into these charts. We see the week starting off a little green. Now, at the end of the day, despite all the movement intraday, we saw the S&P up only 0.07%. But you might say, Tom, look at that weekly candle. That's a pretty big weekly candle. Remember how Heiken Ashi candles are put together. The opening is the average between the Heiken Ashi opening and close of the prior candle, okay? And then the close is the average of the high open low close in the session. That's the reason that we don't have any of those jumps, you know, where things go from one candle to another and you have all these places to fill in. We don't have any of those types of things. Heiken Ashi candlesticks move typically up smoothly and then down smoothly and then back up smoothly again. Now we're only one day into this one. Things could change. But I will tell you as we look at things, how in the world could we go back to a down move and somehow adjust from here to there for a down move? You can see as we watch, I want you to learn as we go through this week how it works. You've got to understand the beginning and the end of moves. This was a very short down move and as things start to rotate over going up, let's see how it proceeds. Could the market really hammer down at this point? It could. How in the world would that change on this candle? It would, of course, have to move the opposite way. So, of course, the opening would stay the same, but the average would require a lot to move down. Now, it could, again, remember, this is the opening. The week could end with this green completely deflating and going in the other direction. We see the volume right now is green. We can see here on the Heiken Ashi candlestick for the two-day chart. We can see, of course, how we had four down candles. We had accelerating down movement, uh, accelerating volume, rather. And then we had things, we had a doji, and we had right there at average volume with very little movement as far as the opening and close goes, and then switched over. This is just the first day of the latest two-day candle. We can see what happened at the end of the day where steam was blown off and actually throughout the course of the day, not a lot of volume on this half-day chart. So again, we're just one day in to a five-day candle on the weekly chart. We will watch it and follow it throughout the week. In fact, what I'm going to do for you is I'm gonna screenshot for, as, for learning. I'm gonna screenshot the weekly charts every day so we can at the end of the week look back at them and see what this candle looked like on Monday, which is what it looks like now, and how it looks at the end of the week and how accurate what it portended on Monday it did as the week progressed. Does that make sense? Now, did you take my volume training that I released over the weekend? If you didn't, really want you to do that. I will attach it at the end of today's video today. But we see what looks like a change in trend as we start this week on the weekly after just two weeks down. Now again, you know, the fact that we had lots of volume and this hammer here does potentially help going in the other direction. We'll see. Now look at the cues. Same kind of thing, except more like a doji at the end of the week with pretty decent volume. And then it flipped around, sort of died at the end of the day. Overall, only up 0.11%. But these are doji readings here for the high open, low close if you look up in this area here when we're on it. So again, you can see where things close for the day at $300.02. That's right here. 
Now that is where it closed. The Heiken Ashi close is a different number. Again, like we've talked about and taught plenty of times. In fact, I'm going to do an in-depth class on Heiken Ashi candlesticks, the advanced class I'm going to be putting out here pretty soon, uh, which will go great with the training that we gave you on the three time frame chart and the training that we've given you on how to set it up, of course, and the latest on volume. I think you'll get a lot out of that. But again, we can see where we've penetrated the very weak downtrend on this uh, weekly chart, but where things have moved up. Now, let's move on to bonds. Where are bonds? Well, they are still going down, down 0.78% for the day, starting off with red down volume. We have a green candle here, and of course, we have a day and a half of up movement stopping right there on that uh, that that downtrend on the weekly chart, stopping there, and then in the afternoon, rolling over, pulling back a little bit down. So we'll keep our eye on things as the week progresses, see if this move's going to continue or if it is ending. Again, not a lot in the way of volume on the two, first day uh, of the two-day chart, but maybe it'll make it up to average or above, and we can see a little above average in the morning and then blowing off in the afternoon on that half-day chart. So we'll pay close attention. Now gold. We see a green candle here, but down for the day, 0.50%. Again, remember, the opening on this candle was the average of the Heiken Ashi open and close of the prior candle. And then this candle for the close is the high open, low close of all the price movement. But why do we use that formula? Well, because it is the Heiken Ashi formula and it helps us see what? average pace. That's what we're looking for. So we can see as average pace of price movement kicks up, slows down, and reverts over. So we'll keep an eye on this as we move through the week. I want to get into gold. Now, again, not going to be buying it on a down day, but I am going to be paying attention to it. What about Bitcoin? Bitcoin was up a little bit, 0.27% for the day, but you can see that we were red last week. You know, not a lot of volume there. Starting off the week red this week, not a huge drop going down. In fact, you can see throughout the course of the day, not much going on. 0.27%. That's not 27% or even 2.7. It's 0.27% up. So not a lot. So we'll keep an eye on things as this week progresses, as we again focus on this three time frame chart. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I really do want to hear from you. The folks who have been reaching out to me by both text and email, email cw at chartingwealth.com. I really appreciate what you have to say, how you're excited about this. Yes, this is very similar to the weekly vertical crossovers and so much of the stuff we did for many years. You guys were asking for bigger moves on bigger charts. And of course, I listen to you guys. I want to do what y'all need. I don't need this. Uh, I'm doing this for you. Although I will tell you, you guys have heard me say over the years, the fact that I have to get in the market every day, not only for my own trading, but for teaching, it is a blessing to me. So I learn as much or more than you guys do. That's why I do this each and every day, and I appreciate all of your feedback. That's where we are as we end the day on Monday. Four more days left. Let's follow this three. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.